Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Today we're going to be talking about the Kira Oscar fiasco that continues. Kira has a response. We're going to go through it. We got some videos that have been brought to my attention. We're going to go through all the tinfoil hat conjecture and everything that's going on in their past. We've got a video to break down how they met. Video to break down were Kira and Preston secretly texting in a video. What's that? What's that all about? We're gonna look at a video about when Oscar pranked Kira and some really weird response to that prank. It's crazy. This video is gonna be insane. Let's go. If you're new here, thanks for joining. Make sure you hit that subscribe button or that whatever like button, smash it in the face or whatever. Um, and if you are new, please join me here on my channel as a member or head over to Patreon as well. You can like me on Instagram, head over to Twitter, and or you can buy a shirt at my merch store. That's it. I hope you enjoy our conversations here. Today is going to be... It's going to be a big one. Um, I've been compiling a bunch of things, and I'm calling this video The Wake of Kira's Destruction because it's really evident... From all the proof that we have, that Kira just doesn't care about anybody but Kira. So, I think we can all agree there. So, if you have not been following the story, Kira and Oscar broke up. I had a source reach out to me who embarked on an uh, adventure with them in Vegas. And during their conversations, and that person said that they, you know, they were going to get into this thing sexually. And they just started talking. And what happened and then that's what the video happened i dropped i dropped the receipts the picture that no one has ever gotten before that this person sent me it's never been released except for my source okay so that all happened we have the receipts believe it or not now a lot of people are saying well what if kira and preston were just saying that to make her feel comfortable right oh you know they're just trying to lie but okay i hear you and i asked my source the same question and she said well why would they lie about all the other things or why would they tell me all the other things? Like they knew a coach from Pre Preston's college that they both kind of knew. They were telling them where they lived and all that. They, she was telling, they were telling this girl everything. But why lie about that? Why lie about that one thing? You've got this girl who's already consenting to being there for this adventure that you're about to embark on. Why lie? Did she say, I'm not going to do this unless I know you guys been together for more than six months? It just doesn't make sense. Also, we know that when people drink, especially Kira, when she drinks, she tells the truth a little bit more. So is she and they're drunk? We know that Preston is barfing his guts out. So why are they lying while they're drunk? I don't think so. That's what I'm that's again. My source is adamant. Every time I go back to her and I say, hey, Kira, drop this thing. She's like, it's a lie. She believes it. I believe it. You don't have to believe it. And maybe they were doing that to make her feel comfortable. Sure. It doesn't make what Kira's doing any better. Because today we're going to talk about a little bit of the girl code. As far as I'm aware, the girl code exists. And so we'll get to that in a minute. But before we get into all that, so I wanted to just get right off the top, catch you up to what we're talking about. And some of the major questions that people have had about my source. A lot of people are like, we don't believe your source and that's fine. We don't think your source exists. Some people were saying, okay, I mean, where did I get the receipts? Where did I get that photo? That photo does not exist on the internet anywhere else. That photo alone, to me, uh, yeah, you could find Preston's number, you can make up things. So we'll answer some more questions after. I want to read Kira's statement because it's, you know, this is her statement. She gets to have her say because I have reached out to everybody else and it's only fair that we read her statement. Okay, so this is what she says. Kira says, hearing about a bunch of wildly fun rumors after my breakup is comical, is it? I'm so sorry to anyone who has come across any negative things about me or my family. No, no, no. None of the things about your family. This is all about you, Kira. You don't get to deflect from this all being about you. This is nothing to do with your family. All I will say regarding this is that some people will do anything in their power to try to bring others down. Be that through rumors, lies, or anything else they can get their hands on. It's not worth my time to defend every single thing said about me. But I... <laughs> I, I, let me stop you there, Kira, for a second. I, I, you, you don't want to defend anything about you? You did like four videos when you and Oscar broke up about, tell them I didn't cheat. Tell them I didn't do this. Tell them. And they kept you kept doing videos and kept reiterating things that you wanted everybody to know. So that was worth your time to say I wasn't. But now a legitimate source has come forward with some legitimate stuff and receipts and you, you don't have time. Yeah. I don't believe you. 
and neither does anybody else. Regardless, if you want to believe it or not, I did not and have never cheated on Oscar. I've never cheated on anyone in my entire life. And so we're going to watch a video in a second that proves that that's a lie. As you can see by my actions, if I'm not happy, I will leave. We know you will leave, Kira, but you, you, didn't, you just said you needed to discover yourself. We get it. You cannot be happy and leave. There would never be a problem. I would have never done any videos on that stuff. But if you left because you were hooking up with your best friend's fiance, it's a big deal on the internet. It's a big deal for this because you guys come across, you come across like you're just like this perfect little mom on a family vlog. And it's not cool because that's, that's just gross human behavior. And we call that out here in the Dad Challenge podcast. I will also say what is being said about me on the internet is so far-fetched, okay? Most of it, an outright lie. I want you to point that most of it. She's saying most of it because it's not an outright lie for certain things like the threesome because my person was there. So that's not an outright lie. And I have it on good authority that I just, I can't, I wish I could tell you why I know more that it's true, but I can't. I just, I have to honor my sources and we know, and you saying that because you are dating Preston. Now I didn't get this corroborated, but another person reached out to me who lives in Utah, who said, guess who just came into my restaurant? And she said, and I said, well, who? And she said, well, Preston and Kira. And I looked at them and I said, oh, hey. And then they left because they were recognized. So, I mean, maybe they're just friends going out for dinner, but she's saying most of it is an outright lie. The only other thing that she could say is a lie is that she didn't cheat on Oscar, that they weren't dating for eight months or whatever. And she's probably saying the thing like, I wanted to make that girl feel comfortable. That's probably what she's saying, right? That's what I think she's saying. I know she's saying. So the only thing that could possibly be a lie that we don't have absolute definitive proof of is if she did cheat on Oscar, unless she comes out clean, unless Preston comes clean or Hannah comes clean. Because Hannah knows more than she's telling anybody. People in my real life are doing well. Who I date, when I date, will never be made public until way down the road. Why? Why would you say that? What is it? Okay. You don't bring them home to mama on the first date. You, what is that supposed to mean? We know you're dating Preston. Why are you lying about it? Oscar knows you're dating Preston. Why are you lying about it? What is this supposed to mean you don't bring them home to mama on the first date? According to Hannah, if the screenshot is true... Okay, you guys are in love and living together. So I don't know if that's true. It's ironic how so many people say they are worried for my kids, but only, th but the only thing harming or embarrassing them is the drama and rumors that these exact same people are creating and spreading. Now, this is directly towards me, and I get that. People, and I'm going to answer this question too. Josh, why are you covering this tea? It's tea. You're a tea channel now. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but I can chew gum and walk at the same time. I can talk about more than one thing at the same time. Yes, I am against the exploitation of children, but that doesn't mean that everything I talk about on this channel has to be about that, okay? I talk about a lot of things. Church, Hillsong, I've talked about Jeffree Star, talked about the other guy there, what's his name? With the hair, I forget his name. The one guy that did the thing with the kids and stuff like that. I will talk about anything I wanna talk about. This just happens to collide into two worlds. The family vloggers that I cover and the things that they're doing and the fakery. And yeah, it's a little bit of tea. So I can cover that too. So all the people are like, oh, Josh, I can't believe it. You guys, you need to chill. I literally can talk about whatever I want. I don't know if you know the name of this channel. It's called the Dad Challenge Podcast. I talk about what I want to talk about. I will put a caveat that yes, the majority of what I try to do here is the anti-family vlogging and anti-exploitation message. It really is. It is the major message, but it doesn't mean I'm not allowed to talk about other things. Are we cool with that? I don't care if you're not. I'm cool with it. I am happy. My kids are happy, and I will not let this bring us down. Okay. I don't think your kids are happy, but okay. Thank you for the crazy amount of supportive messages, comments, and texts I've received over the last little while. I don't know if you read anything on Instagram or any YouTube comment. I'm sure you've got a few messages, but... Yeah, uh, people are not on your side on this. And it's not even about the cheating. I think people can get over that generally. I think what people are more mad about is that you had a best friend who you did a podcast with, you know, and you literally are now dating her ex-fiance. Regardless if it was through cheating or not, and we're going to show you some video evidence today, hopefully, or just some conjecture that looks like we were all right, but you just don't do that. That's girl code that I was talking about. You don't date your best friend's ex. Just don't do it. That's 
That's just normal. I know this sentence is cliche, but I truly mean that. It helps way more than you know, and I don't know what I'd do to get so damn lucky to receive all the love and support. I agree. I don't know what you did to deserve it because you didn't. You don't deserve it. You don't deserve it. XOXO, topic of your daily drama for the next rest of my public lifetime. Well, I hope your public lifetime ends soon. I hope you start realizing that there's a better world out there where you're not in front of the camera being scrutinized or going to restaurants with Preston and being recognized. I hope that, you know, you can move on and stop exploiting your kids. Okay, cool. Lots in there about like all of it, some of it's true. Okay, so when she comes out with the Preston thing, it's going to be a big deal for her. So, so my prediction is going to be that she is just not going to say anything. And then one day she's just going to drop the bomb and everybody's like, see, I told you. And she's going to be like, no, just start it or something. Nobody believes you, Kira. It comes back to the question, does the threesome really matter? And again, I want to say this to everybody. No, it doesn't. That a lot of people were like, uh, there were some people commenting like, why are you talking about that? I don't really care about that. That part means nothing to me. Because at this point, both of them are broken up with their exes. And they can go out and enjoy whatever they want to enjoy with people who want to consent to that kind of stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. The reason I brought that up is because this girl was part of this thing that they were telling the story that led to the conversation about the nine month thing, which then puts us on a timeline. So I want to make sure everybody remembers that. I don't care about that. It's the conversation that they had that I was more interested in. That's why I didn't ask her to go into detail about any of the other things because I didn't want to know. All right, and so that all leads me to this video that I got, which is on K-Baby's channel. Yes, I need to make a correction. So many people were correct. Let me make a couple of corrections here. Oscar and Kira have never been married. And I said this in the last video. I just say that they are because for all intents and purposes, they really are. I don't see the major difference. They've lived together for so many years. They have a, they have all their finances are connected. They have a home together. They have children together. They're for all intents and purposes married. So I'm going to use the moniker married. Sorry if that bothers you. They're not legitimately legally married. And also in Utah, there is no common law. I found out from somebody. So I'm going to keep saying it though, but just know that I know that they weren't legally married. Okay. Everybody got that. And again, the other correction was everybody's like, no, no, no. YouTube is K baby. She's had it for a while. I get that. I understood that. I made a mistake. What I meant to say was the okay baby. Instagram was turned into Kira's channel. Sorry. I messed up. Those are out of the way. Help people can focus. It's so crazy. Cause I'll drop an hour long video about all this information and people will drop like these little minuscule things that literally mean nothing for anything else. It doesn't, it doesn't negate anything else I've ever said, but they like focus, hyper focus on these little details. So are we cool? I'm going to continue to say they were married. Got it? Because I don't care what you say. All right. So it gets this video where they look like they're 13. <laughs> and this is, this is called story time. How we met. Buckle up. It's going to be a long video. There's lots to go through. There is things in this that aren't nice or make us good friends or good companions. Okay. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to K-Baby. Today we're going to do the video about how we met. <laughs> Very... Look at how young these little beans are. They are so little. Oh my gosh. You want to like, call, you want to call them at this time and be like, Oscar, get a lawyer. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting video. I'll probably get a lot of hate comments. Well, I will, but that's the... It's crazy from day one. Kira's always been like, I'll get all the hate comments. I wonder why. You don't see a pattern here? You don't see a pattern? Okay. Okay. Sit down, grab your popcorn, grab your soda, and just relax. And your candy. <laughs> Maybe your brownies if you made some. None of that. None of that. I'm going to go straight to your thighs, guys. You don't have that. So basically, guys, Kira and I met in kind of a weird way. I was... Holy crap. <laughs> These little, just they're little kids. It's crazy. How old are they here? 18? I had a thing with one of her friends, actually, as a matter of fact, that she was actually trying to get me to, you know, kiss. No, 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 no. <laughs> What? What? This, oh my gosh, I've never seen this. Obviously, you guys know me. This is how I roll. What? And then, so he says the thing that's likely the truth, and then Kira says, wait a minute, edit, let's say the truth. The truth that Kira wants you to know. Are you ready for this? Let's hear it, Kira. Oh, I can't wait for this. Not He's far. wrong already. He is wrong already. Oh, I'm sure. Well, guys, apparently Kira does not remember the first half of the story. I was not important enough for her to remember me. What? So basically, this is how I met Kira, but this is how Kira Did just not meet him. walked by me. <laughs> so basically, what happened was I was dating one of her close, close friends. We'll call this person 
Letter N. <laughs> Letter N. And I had a thing. I- Apparently, it's a person named Bijou. That's what I've. Or Bilou. Or Biu. I don't know. Something like that. Yes. And w- there's just a lot of drama happened, but she introduced me to Kira, and Kira does not remember, obviously. She says she. I had a different. Why don't you just say the words, a lot of drama happened, and then this. What do you mean? That's a big deal, what you just said there. A lot of drama happened? What? Her boyfriend at the time that I already <coughs> had been with for like a year, so I was, he was nothing. Yeah, but I didn't even care about her either, so. That, <laughs> She's that, like, that. I just gotta say. Yeah, I didn't. As a matter of fact, she called me cute, and I was like, ew. And I didn't call him cute. Like, yeah, she did. No, no, no. I told him, like, actually, we can't say what I told him, because it's kind of mean, but I just wasn't, like, it was like flirting, but not really. I was just saying, like, yeah, you're a cute guy. Like, you could date, like, and her. I said, oh. Okay, so what? Again, you have to keep in mind that they are teenagers. And so I have teenagers. I get this. I understand teen lingo. I get it. But basically, she said I nothing to him, but then said he was good looking. So I don't believe you at all. Thanks. <laughs> Walked away. Yeah, like, that's it. There was no, like, f- it wasn't like love at first sight or anything. Yes, I was with her friend. And then what happened was basically I had a fallout with this friend. I dated one of her other friends, letter A. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how I actually got, like, officially introduced to her. Letter A and Kira were pretty good. Well, they were, yeah, they were pretty good friends. Mm-hmm. They would go swimming and stuff. Not anymore. And we kind of got introduced that way. I didn't really talk to her much. She, I think she remembers that, though, because of how weird that relationship was. Yeah. It, it's not that it was weird. It just was, like, kind of awkward in the beginning. And I remember trying to help the awkwardness between them. He was kind of an awkward guy. I was going through a rough, rough time at that point. So I was... You're, like, 12. What rough time? Did you get grounded? You weren't play, allowed to play Xbox anymore? What? What happened? Get your phone taken away? What was your rough time, Oscar? I thought I was like too cool for school. I wanted to yeah. fight everybody. Blah, blah, blah. This yeah. and that. Wow. Okay. This was all in his eighth grade year and my seventh grade year. And now we're graduating from high school. So this was like five years ago. Okay. So they're like 23 here. Okay. Or something like that. And she kind of helped us talk a little better, but it still didn't work out. So we had a complete fallout there. Kira stopped bringing friends with letter A. They just stopped talking. Yeah. Whatever. Not for any specific reason. Not for any specific reason. No, not, not. <laughs> like really? We believe you. We totally believe you, Kira. You know, you switch friends a lot. And- yeah, so- Do you switch friends a lot? No, I don't No, I don't know that. Sounds like you switch friends a lot. Kira and I were friends at that point, but not really. We were not kind of, best friends, but like we could have a conversation. Yeah, well, we were. Wow, nothing really changes, eh? He says something, she finishes it, and then says the thing that they were supposed to say. We wouldn't go out of our way to talk to each other, but we would just kind of see each other and be like, oh, hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I got back with letter N. <laughs> I was like, oh, letter N's kind of cute. Let's go back there. And this is when we started actually being friends where we would kind of go out of not yeah. out of our way but like, yeah like we would actually like we instead we of would just, take a picture together yeah instead of just walking by each other we'd be like oh hey like how's your, instead of just saying like hey what's up we'd be like oh hey how's your day all yeah, around, joke no around whatever yeah. <laughs> i'm sorry we i'm reading we're all reading between the lines now that we know everybody what's going on here exactly so we would hang out with letter N and she would hang out with her boyfriend, letter H. <laughs> <laughs> I was with um, letter H by that point. Harold? Is his name Harold? Henry? Hagrid? From Harry Potter? Who is it? I started dating him in seventh grade and then we broke up in 11th grade, so. Yeah, so she was with. So she's saying she broke up with this dude in 12th grade, but they were like. Saying hi and taking pictures in eighth grade. Letter H, our whole friendship basically. Yeah. Letter N, I don't know what happened. Letter N, when they <laughs> stopped talking, and middle school relationships they don't really. Yeah, they don't work out. And we went like kind of a year without talking, huh? I was friends with Letter H actually at that point. That's funny. I was really good friends with Letter H. Yeah. At that point, so <laughs> there was like a year gap where I was friends with Letter H, but we would barely, we would kind of walk home sometimes. This is the most discombobulated story you've ever heard in your life. They already said that they got really close at one point. Now, all of a sudden, they're not close anymore? What's happening? They, th- It's like they're pausing it, and she's saying, don't say anything that you just said. And then she would follow along. I would just hang out with her boyfriend a lot, basically. Then, when did you start dating? Let her be. This, Let is, her- this is Baloo, or Bijou, or Banu, or Boo Boo, or whatever the person's name is. Let her be, <laughs> Let her be was... The beginning of my 10th grade. So then he was best friends with like a group of guys and then Letter B. And they were good friends for like a good while. And then him and Letter B started dating. 
And letter B was my best friend since like ninth or eighth grade because we played volleyball together. Okay, now we're there. Letter B is her best friend. Got it. Baloo, Banunu. I don't know what this person's name is. It was her best friend. And so then I started hanging out around him again more and we became really good friends. Like we would like text every once in a while or... If I ever had a problem with letter B, I would text her and... Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. <laughs> You remind me of a girl that I once knew. You know that song? That's Usher. That's what this song's all about. So at this point, they're pretty much seeing each other. It would kind of help me out. Yeah. You don't, okay, if you're having a problem with a girl, you don't reach out to another girl to solve your problems unless that's the girl you want to be with. Okay? It just, sorry, we all can see, we can read between the lines here. Or like, same with like letter H. This is so weird saying letters, but... Um, we just were like always there to talk to each other. I didn't really have many friends when I was dating letter H, so, um... It you just said letter B was your best friend! So you didn't have any friends anymore? What's going on? It was nice to be able to talk to him about things or like for help or advice because he was always around. He was always at letter B's house. She would babysit letter B's little brother. Yeah. So she was always at the house too. Yeah, so besides oh her being God. my best friend, I was like... You just said you had no friends just there a lot even when she wasn't so we were um pretty good friends at that point like i would say it got to a point where we were like best friends and talked a lot and they went out until we went out for like two years almost a long time to date somebody in high school but guys this whole time we were, we were just friends i'm not even joking you we never even had like one weird thought yeah no like no we don't believe you. Nothing like that. We never even like try to make a move. Nothing. We were too into our own relationships. I was in like a. Were you really into your own relationships, even though you were texting each other about your relationship problems? Yeah, we we believe you. We totally believe you at all. Yeah, we no. Three and a half year relationship. Yeah. My priorities were not Oscar. Yeah. By all means, besides exactly. our friendship, I did value our friendship. But even when they broke up, me and him didn't talk for a while. Yeah. Like I would say. Like, like three or four months we didn't talk at all because I was trying to it was kind of a hard breakup like so between them so I was always with letter B okay so what she's saying here I'm trying to just I'm just trying to get it in they had a hard breakup so she took letter B side and then Oscar was out for four months that's what she's saying like supporting that and helping her and stuff so we didn't talk and I didn't want to text him I thought it was disrespectful even though what I ended up doing was, <laughs> but, um, but she's like, I don't want to be distracted. <laughs> she just said it. And again, let her be was your best friend. Here's the pattern where it starts. You guys are now together. We can see the future. You definitely dated your best friend's ex-boyfriend. And you said it was a hard breakup. Yeah. Basically letter, letter B and I had a pretty bad fallout and just, it happened. Like it just so happened that a, a month or two later, her and letter H had a pretty bad fallout. Oh, it just so happened. Did it? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty much <laughs> cut. <laughs> letter B and I had a pretty, pretty bad fall. You said that. It yeah. Just, it went from being a break to she, she basically started hooking up with a bunch of dudes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> None of your business. Basically, that's what I'm happened. not part of this. This is their drama. But. Yeah, I know. But anyways, um, pretty bad fallout, and then. I texted Kira during that fallout because I wasn't sure if it was over. You just said you didn't. She was on B side. They can't keep their story straight. With, like what was going on. So I texted her and then she kind of told me, yeah, it's pretty much over. And she tried helping me out. And I was basically asking her for advice. This is the part where I clarified that I was not trying to, I didn't say, oh yeah, sh you guys are done. You, We need to be together. It was nothing like that. I was honestly, at that point, it, it had been like, four or five months and I was like, this this needs to end. You both are like, I'm sorry, you're both stupid. Like this is obviously over and you're both, he wasn't doing other things with other people, but she was and- I didn't know that. Yeah, and I didn't tell him like things that she was doing. I just said it was done, like he, that he could move on. Oh, you gave him permission to move on? That's nice, Kira, thanks. Because Oscar was having a hard time with it because she was kind of saying that there was still a chance when there really wasn't and so I was sick of watching him get hurt I was trying to support both of them at the same time so I just told him it was done so I just dated him instead okay. wasn't like oh yeah you're done my turn like no I no. had many chances to be with him I knew him for a long time by the time they broke up he was single at times and I never ever tried to make a move and either did he so I had opportunities and I I just didn't see it like that at the time, so... Oh my god, get to the point! That's not what my priority was. 
Mm-hmm. Do you have to clarify that? Because yes, I do. Because, we because why? Because why? After we tell you this part. So <laughs> basically, exciting. yeah, Kira, I was asking her for advice one day and um, we just started kind of dating. It was weird. She, she was going through a rough time with her boyfriend, like a really rough time where they were breaking up on and off. Like it was getting to a weekly point, huh? These so healthy, such healthy people to get together with. So good. Perfect. Just the angels came down and the, the ropes parted and said, these two should be together. <laughs> break up for a day every week almost. It kind of just got to that point where you just... You, you know, break up every day for a week? Okay. Over, but you keep trying to fix it, keep trying to fix yeah. it. So then one of those days when they broke up, I was texting her for advice and she started kind of flirting <laughs> a lot. He has to check with her. Notice that he has to check with her every time when he says something that like might, you know... Make her look bad. He has to check with her. And I was kind of like thinking, oh my gosh, maybe I'm just a rebound. Um, maybe she's just upset. So I kept trying to make it so like He wasn't casual. like dodging it. Like he wasn't like, like. Yeah, I wasn't like, oh care. no, yeah. But he was just like, he wasn't feeding too much into it because he thought he was a rebound. Yeah, not only did I think I was a rebound, I was kind of just like, oh, she's not going to like this. I know she's going to get back with what's his face because they did it a lot. So I kept skipping around questions and then. <laughs> she asked me one time, oh, I don't know how we got to the conversation of camping, and she basically asked me, would you like to go camping one day? Is that what the kids are calling it? And I said, yeah, sure, well, well, I was trying to be casual about it, but she kept saying, oh, well, I don't have a tent, I don't have a tent. I kept trying to make it obvious. I was like, oh, well, I think I have a two-person tent, blah, blah, blah. Guys, this sounds like I was a weird creeper. And he was yeah, no, you are. Like, oh, my God, stop. No, he was saying things to his friends. He was into it. Yeah, I was into it, but I wasn't trying to show her. It's, this is how she's trying to get Oscar. Should we go camping? I don't have a tent. Do you happen to have one? Or a two-person sleeping bag? I was very... Oscar seems like the kind of guy that you have to smash over the head with a frying pan that say, I like you. <laughs> Let's get together. <laughs> He likes like me. I don't know when I'm being flirted with. It doesn't. I can't. I am dumb. Cause, yeah. Into it, guys. I really, really was like. I th I actually. I sh I thought she was very attractive the whole time we were friends, blah blah. But I never really liked her like that. Did you? But this time I was single and I had heard all the stuff that Letter B had been doing, so I was kind of over it. I didn't really care, even though Letter B and I were still kind of like, you what? know, weird. Holy shit! This is confusing. In a weird place, but I was bragging to my friends. You know, I was like, oh look, dude, dude, and all my friends thought she was very attractive too. So they're like, no way, blah blah, no way. <laughs> this and that. But at the, I was boys. I really yeah, no. imagine them sitting around the fireplace, like, <laughs> no way. Oh my god, and then what? Yeah, I know. So basically, that's what was going on. I was texting her. She was basically hinting at it, but I kept skipping around. Oh my it. god! And after that, I think she got a little embarrassed about it because I skipped around it so much. Yeah, because I was just like. Okay, like, Are you not picking up this hint that I want to do camping sex? Are you not picking this up, dude? This is just weird. I'm not a girl to do that. I know. Except you did it. So, yes, you are. I have been a girl to really, like, be the one to do something. Like, usually the guy would do something, but... Have you heard your podcast there ever? Not once? You ever heard it? I don't know if you heard it. You were speaking on it, though. This time I had gone out of my way, and I, I wasn't, like, in love with him at this point. So I was just like, oh, okay, like, whatever, back off. You know, I'm not going to, like... Don't any more into it. So she ditched me on a camping trip, got back with her boyfriend. <laughs> wow. And I was kind of like, oh, wow, that Classic. was pretty cool, I guess. I just got to flirt with Kira. That's cool, whatever. So then we moved back to our lives. One day, Kira and Letter B, we all went to the park together. And Kira got into, like, a little cat fight with Letter B. over. They were best friends, though. Thanks over nothing that related to him. Yeah. I am sure. Your eyes are over nothing, I promise. <laughs> Something completely different. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think I don't believe you. I think Kira was pretty upset that night, and then that night she texted me like, "Why'd you have to go out with Letter B?" And I was kind of like, "What? What do you mean? Like, what the hell? Where did that come from?" She's such a brat. This and that. Well, so okay. This is Kira, and she's like, "It's not like me. I don't do these things." She's now he's telling you, she's initiating. You're going back out with B. She's pissed. They had a fight with her. She had a fight with her best friend, and then she texted you that night, and she's trying to manipulate the situation. That's all I'm hearing here. That's what I'm hearing. She inappropriately texted you and said, why are you with her? Blah. <laughs> okay, first of all, I didn't say brat. I didn't say brat, but along the lines of that, like, I was mad at her, so I was saying, like, why'd you have to go out with her? Also, I meant it as in, why'd you have to go out with her? Because I have feelings for you. And at that point, I didn't... Exactly. Thank you for admitting it. You guys are listening to this, right? He's out. He's going out with her. 
So, yeah, and she, why'd you have to go out with her? I have feelings for you. She's mad at B, so she takes B's boyfriend. I think I could be with him because of that. So she basically told me that she liked me. She had feelings for me that night. Mm -hmm. Like, but is she still with H at this point? I don't remember. Yeah, because you said they were back together. You're all at the park together. Then there's a fight. Then she calls you to say, I like you. Okay. But if you still feel the same after you wake up in the morning, text me. Give me a little heart or something. So next morning, I'm at work because I used to work at a golf course. It was like 4 a.m. And she texts me a little heart at 4 a.m. And I was like, what the? That's what? not all that happened. Tell them the real story. What? What'd you do? Oh, well, I got pretty excited. I was like, what? No way. Okay, so you guys just both admitted that you cheated. Now, everybody's going to be like, see, there's Kira admitting it. But Oscar here is to blame as well, everybody. Don't miss it. He's dating B, and they're flirting, chatting, sending hearts, and everything else. They're both to blame here. But the pattern still exists that the relationship started from cheating. That Kira was initiating. So, yes, Oscar's to blame, but Kira initiated. Called all my friends. Out of anger. For her, for for hating her best friend. So on my break, I called all my friends, and then I drove the go karts around like a madman. So I was super happy. And circles. Yep, I did donuts. They have go karts at your golf course. Congrats. So cute. We basically told each other that we liked each other, but there wasn't much we could do about it because letter B and letter H were still in the picture. Yeah. Right. So they're admitting it. They're both. Oh come on, gosh. Holy shit. There, are, there is things in this that aren't nice or make us good friends or good companions, but it's how we met. So I don't know. Is that like. After after this point, we started talking and then we planned on going on dates. They got ruined a couple times because letter B and letter H would get in them. I told... I so they're planning dates while dating letter B and letter H. Are you out of your minds? And Kira's... Look at the smirk on Kira's face right now. She... Oh my God. Did Kira's whole entire relationship come down to pissing off someone she got in a fight with? Are you kidding me? Four kids and like houses and YouTube fame and all this stuff later. And you're just... It was to piss off your ex best friend. If we told letter B that I was kind of over it and I just wanted to be her friend. I was broken up with letter H at this point. Yeah. So we started seeing each other and then I was broken up with my boyfriend so he wanted to make it official and I knew that I really liked him. See the word official? But she was still friends with letter B and letter B did not know about us. What? Yeah. They Okay, so letter B did not know about us. Okay. Best friends. I mean, not just, like I said, friends since like the eighth grade. Wow. I was staying at her house very often stuff. And I didn't really know if I was ready to give that up. Along with the fact that her little brother was like family to me because I spent so much time around him. Uh, so she's like contemplating giving up her best friend forever for Oscar. And she's saying, I don't know. I wasn't ready. But she knows she has to make a choice. Meaning that they are doing stuff behind B's back. Um, I definitely... What? B, if you're listening to this podcast, I would love for you to come on the show to tell your side of the story if you're willing to. I think there's a lot of history here. I'm sure if I was ready to give that up or not. So I told him that I wasn't ready for that. Or let her be found out because you told her, but he didn't tell me he was going no. to tell her. Well, she kind of started catching on. She would see me texting her. I think she caught me texting one time. I don't know how she found out, but she made So you guys are admitting right now that you're cheating. Both of you are fully admitting you're cheating. And in the, in the description of this video, she's like, I just want to make it clear that we weren't cheating. Yes, you absolutely were. He told me, hey. Oscar, again, Oscar's to blame here. He could have broken it off with B, but they are secretly dating and Kira knows it's her best friend. And she said she was staying at her best friend's house a lot. I know that Kira had a bad relationship with her mother and Kira was kind of like probably having issues at home. So not only was let her be like, you know, letting her stay there and, you know, be there, but she was sleep she was literally hang hooking up with her letter B's boyfriend behind her back while being her best friend. Sorry. You and Kira had the thing. And I was like, I tried acting it off, but then she, I tried lying is what he meant to say. Can I kept pushing it, kept pushing it? And I was like, yes. I was like, yeah, kind of, I think I like her. And then that's when all hell broke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so she wanted to talk to me. So I went, well, of course she did talk to her and I told her the truth and I told her that. Oh, you tell the truth after you got caught. That's cool. That's you're so noble. Thing that have happened. We fought, but then we decided that we would be friends. So then I was like, okay, like, what? I don't think that's okay. Me and Oscar are going to work out. And the next day she was in class and my other best friend was in the same class as her and heard her talking crap about me. I don't remember what she was saying, but she was just talking crap about me. Was she talking crap about you? Was she just t angry that you stole her boyfriend? Is that maybe what she was saying? Was she talking crap about you? Okay. Did you deserve it though? Yeah, you did. It wasn't even about us. It was just yeah, about just her. about me. Oh, so was at that it? point, okay. I was like, "Why am I going to give up a relationship that I could potentially have for a really long time?" Which obviously we had a baby together. 
for something. Yeah, not planned. Or was it? I don't know. I'm not even sure what lost out of high school. She's already talking crap about me. How is this going to last long? And not- This is her curious thought process, right? She's like, well, she talked crap about me, so why would I'm going to take this thing instead. Again, look at the pattern, everybody. Look at the pattern. Kira grew out of the phase with Oscar. Says, I don't want to be that anymore. I want to do, I want to go into something else. I want to go. So-. Kira's just always about what's next, what's next, what's next. And without regard for anybody who in her wake of destruction. Not to mention, she was not a very good friend. And I would still say. Excuse me? Are you literally telling everybody right now in your video in front of your millions of fans that letter B is not a really good friend? Except weren't you dating letter B's boyfriend behind her back while you're a best friend? Excuse me? She's not the good friend? I. Nope. Yeah, now she's just not she very, was a good friend at first the way she was before, she's a good friend until you started cheating with her boyfriend i guess okay i'll allow it like 11th grade was a lot different and that's when we started being best friends that's when they started dating you said grade eight well, make up your mind when you're best friends she was a lot different person and she Changed kind of got let attention get to her head and she just kind of became a brat i guess as he would say i would use a different word but it's just <laughs> okay would you she was rude to all of her friends. She was the most important all the time, and I got really sick of it. She would judge me. Did when- you literally destroy her relationship because she was an attention, wanted attention? Kira, did you literally blow up your friendship and steal her boyfriend because you just didn't like her? Is that literally how this relationship developed? Because holy shit. I would try and come to her about things. She would judge me for it. So to me, it was just like, what do I choose? Someone I'm going to be friends with for like six more months? Or someone that I could be with. Someone that you could ruin her future in the future? Yeah, that one. We'll choose that one. You're gross, Kira. Forever, like, and that's was my mentality. Forever. So we ended up stopping being friends, and we started dating. I'm yep. sure you she, did. Right when they stopped being friends, she, we started dating. Well, we didn't start dating right away. Um, she let her be. It was like 24 hours. Don't want to talk to me yet. I mean, I was basically, I kept telling you, dude, it's over. Why don't you realize that? You were doing things with other guys. I kept trying to get back with you. But now you're, it's too late. You yeah. High school. She, she wanted to get back with him once she found out. She t- told him things that I had done with other people to try and make that run him back to her, which I don't know personally. I wouldn't want a guy to go back with me after that. But hey, if you want to do it, that's your thing. It worked out. What? It worked out in the end. It was a lot. Did it work out in the end, Oscar? No, it didn't. It did not. A drama and a lot of sad times. There was a lot of, of tears. <laughs> a lot of fights. Yeah, no, Funny. I just, the thing is, is I think we didn't explain the time frame, but basically they were broken up for six months before we got together. We only t- talked. No, you don't get to change the time frame now. They were together. Like knowingly liked each other for the last month of that six months. So it wasn't like the whole six months we were stringing it out and hooking up. And yeah, you were. Back seat and like, no, that's not how it was. Like there was only like a month's time frame. Or she didn't know, and we, like, knowing... Oh, okay. All good, then. All good, just a month. Like, to each other. Just want to warn you guys, this was a very, 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 very dumbed-down version. There's, this is like <laughs> Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Rated P version. There's definitely a rated R version we could share. Yeah, no, there's a lot more, like... Little, a lot more little details that happened, and a lot more like they made that changed a lot of things. But we just that could be like if we did those details, that could be a whole movie. movie. Yeah, that could be, and then all the fist fights, all the cat fights, (laughs) all the crazy stuff that happened. We just sounds like just real good, you know, good, uh, good beginnings, real great, healthy beginnings. We gotta make it a short P rated video or PG rated video (laughs) for all the rated P for. Purple. Blue kitties out there. Yeah, but in the end, I am I would do it all over again. Maybe would you? I would have tried to not to hurt so many people, but like I said. Oh, uh, that's nice. And then you did it again. That's cool. I'm happy with the choice I made. And I think that if you have, I think it's so stupid that girls have that rule. Like you can't date a girl's boyfriend. Ex- <laughs> What? I think it's so stupid that girls have that rule, like, you can't date a girl's boyfriend. Did she just say there? Excuse me? (laughs) What? If you have, I think it's so stupid that girls have that rule, like, you can't date a girl's boyfriend. 
And if they've been married, then I get it. That's like, they've been married, maybe at children. Oh my god. <laughs> he just said that. I think it's stupid that a girl can't date another girl's boyfriend. Maybe if they're married, that's off limits. Okay, well, so Kira <laughs> uses this logic later because Hannah and Preston weren't married. They were just engaged. So I don't see the problem. Oh my God! Kira, you said that on camera. But the fact that it was high school, like, no offense, but it was high school, and he was with three other of my friends. So really, he was going around the whole friend group. No offense, but he was. <laughs> no offense. But, oh, wow. So, why wasn't it my turn? I mean, I think it was my turn. <laughs> I oh my God, I can't believe she said that. The whole time, okay? Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, we totally enjoyed not watching the rest of that. Oh my God, so Kira says the thing that is mind-blowing. Oh my gosh, she said that. And again, this is an 18 year old. They said this was five years after high school. So they're like 23, they're adults with children. I'm gonna bring, okay, so I'm gonna do the confronting my coworker, confronting my wife about cheating on my coworker because that video deserves its own snark. I'm just gonna snark on it. So I'm not gonna bring it up. But it's really intense and really crazy the reaction that Kira has to being confronted about cheating. Wow. But, so instead of that, we're gonna go to this great gift wrong time. Okay, so this great this is the one that's been floating around. Everybody has sent me this. It's been on TikTok and everything else. Um, the, it's a video called Great Gift Wrong Time, and they're getting together with, this is after the breakup, and they're getting together with Hannah and Preston. And Hannah and Preston, at this point, are engaged to be married. That was supposed to be this month that they were going to get married. And so everybody was, it's really weird because there are so many internet sleuths that, my, that just blow my mind. I've been getting pictures of Kira wearing a hoodie from Preston's school, okay? Now, she could have got that because they were supporters of Preston, so that doesn't mean anything. There's a person that sent me the socks that Kira was wearing that Preston was wearing during the podcast that are a four-pack for $100, these socks. They're so specific, and she's wearing part of the pack of the socks that someone pointed out. It was in, I'll, I'll see if I can put the photos up if I have them here. Mind blowing what people are gonna find. But they, there's, this video has been popping up in my timeline a million times. Apparently, during this video, they're texting back and forth. Now, can we be sure they are? No, because unless they tell us they were, we don't know. But w w let's, let's watch it together and see what we come up with. Because remember, at this point, Kira and Oscar are broken up, but Preston and Hannah are not. BT Dubs, look who's here. What up, boy? What's up, Stash? Preston, you dinkleberry. What a dickweed. <laughs> What's up? Yo, rest of the squad is here too now. What's up, Kira? What's up, Hannah? I and check like, out. I was not expecting you to start yet, so that's where my face looked so oh, good. Did it? Yeah. Okay, we have to imagine at this point, and you don't have to believe me. I'm going to believe myself and my source. That Kira and Preston at this point, have been hooking up or getting really close texting maybe for advice maybe on the relationships maybe, maybe. Eh? I'm having problems with Hannah. I'm having problems with Hannah. What do you suggest, Kara? Well, this is what I suggest. Leave her ass for me. This is what I'm talking about. She's already done this. There's a pattern of that behavior, okay? We know that there's another guy that she was comforting. So there's a pattern of that behavior and that comes from Oscar saying that in their video. There's patterns of behavior of these text messaging of this likely, if not physically cheating, then emotionally cheating, probably, right? Okay, so we have to imagine that even if they're not hooked up at this point, that it's probably sort of starting to happen, right? Because what leads to the breakup of Hannah and Preston? We don't know, but now we know that they're dating, so that's my logical conclusion. Okay, so let's get to it. Right there? So you always look good at evil. We've already experience. explained that, but Hannah and Preston have a Christmas present for us. Would have been cute. <laughs> The Morales family. Kira, Oscar, Levi. Oh my gosh. That's, well, that's, that's nice of you guys, Preston. Can you imagine if, if, if we are right that Preston and Kira were together before this and we're never going to know because they're never going to admit to the world. They never will. Unless Hannah spills the tea, we're never going to truly know. That's a shitty thing to do. <laughs> Would have been so cute. It still actually is cute. Okay. Just scr scr scratch out Kira's name. <laughs> Yeah, I'll this yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's now we know things. Read body language. That's all I'm saying. Read body language. I need to show you guys also some pictures of 
The thing that really, really gets me is if you go to Preston's Facebook page, he still has tons of pictures of them together. These two have been together for like years. She has like, just look at all these photos. They have been together for so long and just threw it away for Kira and her forehead. Just threw it away. Thank you, though, guys. All right, you guys. Kids are now in bed, and your girl Hannah convinced me. Actually, it didn't take very much convincing. Cheers, though. Dude, they look. All right. So we're sitting in the room. They already got their phones out. And first of all, we know that Kira has no friends, right? Kira just doesn't have any friends. Uh, I don't know if Hannah and Preston have friends. I'm sure they do. They've been in there for a while. So you know, there could be a possibility that they are texting other people. We know Kira has no friends, though. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, so Kira's texting right now. I'll zoom in so you can see it. So watch. She's texting, she's texting, she's texting, she's texting. So Kira's texting. I'm so into this right now. So Kira's texting right now at this moment. His phone is sitting on that table. I hope they don't make any cuts because I want to see what happens next. He's 5'7", 5'8". He's 5'7"? Holy short. Okay. Boom. She's still texting. She's about to hit send. She hit send. Who's opening? Who's opening his phone right now? Boom. He is. Oscar, the only way to prove this to yourself, if you're watching this, and I hope you are, is to take the raw footage of this video and look at the timing of her text message because there was a cut there. Look at the timing when she finishes texting and he gets his phone. We need the raw footage of this. Oscar, if you want to know if they were, you have all the power by looking at the raw footage. So she texts, he gets it. That's what we're saying right now. That's what people, that's what the internet sleuths are finding right now. He's texting now. Boom. She's texting. They're, they're like literally texting back and forth. And they're not into this game with the Heelys, these two who are more fun than them. We know that Preston is like, mm, hates everybody, he thinks he's too cool for school. Hey. Kira's texting with a weird look, and look at the face. What is with the face? Either they're doing some dirtiness, or they're literally just making fun of these two people. Because they think that they're, they're jokes. Because they do think that they're jokes. Kira thinks Oscar's a joke, and clearly Preston hates Hannah. At this moment... Look at her face. Something has been said, and she's like, what? Okay. Yep, there you go. Oh, my God. Okay, she's finished. Yep. She's thinking of something to say. Uh, and then he picks his phone up. Boom! Oh, man, that's some sketchy shit balls. Right, screw it. Let's go downstairs. Three, two... Okay, so they're upstairs right now, and just saying, I don't know the danger of getting caught. I don't know if they're doing that because they're texting on camera or whatever, because they just there's a danger element in all this. I don't know, but that's kind of what I think. They are left up by themselves. The kids are in bed. Oh, she's a pro. Hey, but I got it. Look at these two would be nice together. I think. I think. <laughs> Oscar, why don't you do that? No, because you know what? Because Oscar wouldn't do that. Neither would Hannah. Those two people seem like they know the code. They know the code. <laughs> Jealous much? Oh. Oh, what's up? Well, yeah, what's up, indeed. <laughs> why weren't you guys downstairs? Just saying. So I find that incredibly crazy the internet sleuths are like all over that and oscar again if you're watching this please if you have the raw footage and i hope you do take a look at the timing of the text messages back and forth be very telling just saying so i'm just gonna address a couple more things a lot of people are saying why are you covering this and i think i sort of talked about this before you know the exploitation not only is it obviously the exploitation of children here um is where they developed all their fame and everything else from but i mean if this is a thing that's coming out i'm not the only one talking about it so a lot of people are angry at me. You're like, this is tea, Josh. Why are you covering tea? I do sometimes cover tea. Yeah. Does that make me a tea channel? Sure. Call me a tea channel. I don't give a shit. But and again, at its core, I do talk about the exploitation of children mostly, but I will talk about other things. Okay. This just happens to kind of the Venn diagrams do cross. 
You have to admit that. So why does it matter about her exploits and all this kind of stuff? You're just going to hurt her kids and all these kind of things that I've heard. You know what? And I I, 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 I did take a step back and think, okay, what do, you know, is that true? Is it going to hurt her kids and all this stuff? And I'm like, eh, once these kids are off the internet, I'm happy to delete all my videos, right? I don't think that my shit's going to exist long enough for her kids to, you know, become teenagers and adults that they're going to look back on this. It'll be gone. That's what I think anyway. Um, but you guys have to remember too, that Kira has an entire podcast, three seasons where literally no sexual conversation is left untouched. None. So you guys are getting mad at, some people are getting mad at me for uncovering this story, right? But none of you are here seeing the irony in that she literally has a sex podcast where they talk about all these and so many more dirty things, like just in intimate detail, perverted intimate detail. Like there's nothing untouched. I said that this person approached me because they propositioned her for a threesome and everybody's super angry at me, but don't seem to be thinking that, holy shit, oh yeah, there's like 400 hours of them talking about sex on this other podcast, just so you know. I, I get that you get some people really, really don't like me and everything else, but you really, really got to start putting it together. Start using your head because you look stupid and you deserve to look stupid. So all that to say, I will uncover the other video um, where they are, the, the prank video, because I think it's really, really interesting. Now that we know more about Kira and about what's going on now that we, she's fully admitted what she's admitted from the other, how they met video, right? Now we know that she's capable of doing those things. So when you see her reaction to being called out for cheating, it is crazy. Okay. So that is my big response to Kira's big response. Remember what she said. Most of it is an outright lie. Well, Kira, why don't you take some time? like you did in all the five videos you did about how you needed to clear your name for everything and clear your name. What most of everything all of us are saying is a lie. I'm all ears. Anyway, don't forget too that Oscar is to blame too because he was still dating that girl while they were getting together with Kira. So Kira's not all fully to blame here, but you know that Kira runs the show. She's the one that manipulated the whole situation. So they're both to blame, but she's more to blame. And I'm Team Oscar, and you know that. So, anyway, everybody take a deep breath. Yeah. It's an interesting story, and it can get creative and fun when you get the internet sleuths finding socks and, like, text messaging and all this craziness. It is amazing what people can find on the internet. And it is amazing what you forget you put on the internet, Kira and Oscar, just so you're aware. So, but don't forget you guys are amazing and beautiful and gorgeous and super valuable. Don't you ever forget it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh,